Hey, it's Chrissy Blue So, finally, after absolutely forever, get to see page two. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I think I did this. I posted it early January, I think. And now it's mid-February. I apologize. You can see kind of the process of it. I am planning on putting these on Tapestoon under Star Girl. I don't. I haven't done any progress on this since. Sorry if you hear whining in the background. That's my guinea pigs. <laughs> they don't always get along. Sorry. So, anyways, I wanted to talk about something I have noticed recently, and I kind of want to talk. Call this. I guess I don't know what to call it like the female superiority in art um, I'm not talking just about them being more likely to pursue art from what I've experienced at least at my school is that most art students are not then um, on my advanced drawing class which is Drawing classes level three, which is what I am at the moment, um, and it's it's drawing classes level three to eight. Uh, we have maybe four guys in the whole class. It's a class of twenty four, I think. So the class is mostly female, um, which I don't I don't really mind. Um, I mean, the subject pool might be a little skewed too, because I do know that a majority of college students are females. I think it's 60-something are females, so there's just naturally more females in colleges. So, yeah, that aside, I kind of wanted to talk about more the focus of art. Uh, a lot of people tend to focus strictly on women. Uh, we see this all the time. There's tons of people on YouTube too who just draw women all the time. Um, I know Holly Brown tends to draw a lot of men honestly, but um, I think she mentioned that she has a hard time drawing females, so that's partially why that is, but I feel like there's a bit of a fear in going over into the male side. <laughs> and we see this also in fashion too. Um, I watch Project Runway a lot, so uh, I've watched most of the seasons. I don't know if I've seen them all. I've been watching it since I was a kid, but it's more fashion design for women rather than men. And while there is both a lot of men and women designing, they're all normally designing for women and they are very inexperienced when it comes to men a lot of the times. Though this past season, the one that I'm currently watching, they did have two male designers on. So I found that interesting. But anyways, I thought this was kind of an appropriate topic for this video because it's pretty much Oh, my little girl. Um, by the way, I don't know if I've ever mentioned her name. Um, it was Junko. I have renamed her June. I didn't really want to change her name that much just because it's been her name for so long. And when I think of her, I think of that. So, yeah. Anyways, back to the topic. Refocus. <laughs> Sorry for the tangent. Um... But people just seem very scared to go into the other category. And I see myself doing it all the time. I have more female characters than I do male characters. And when I'm trying to draw new characters, they normally are females. And in my art class, too, a lot of what we draw is female models. Um, it took almost... It took over half the semester for my drawing two class to get a male model in. And that was like my first male model I've ever drawn off of. 
because we didn't we didn't draw off of in my intro to drawing my intro drawing class we also drew but we didn't we drew off of nude mannequins instead of models which is it was his first year doing that instead of the models just because the models or the mannequins were easier to set up and get in the same position which is very hard to do with models because a lot of the work that we did in my intro drawing class was a lot of studies and finished studies um, but we don't get a lot of male models so it was, it was a very long time before I even actually got to draw off of the male body and even when you're looking at stocks it can be much easier sometimes to find just stocks of women doing stuff rather than stocks of men. Um, I follow Senchi Stock on DeviantArt. Um, she's great um, stock photo references. If you ever are looking for some interesting poses, interesting for shortening poses, just want to practice and stuff, she's awesome for that. Um, most of her poses though are of females and I think they have like two or three maybe I think it's more two uh, males who model for them but it's just very strong female it's just I find it very interesting um, and tell me tell me what you guys think um, Let's try and start a conversation with us. I think it's really interesting. I just kind of want to know the reason why people are like this. Maybe I'll do a follow-up in the future if I get enough response on this. But um, let me know what you guys think. Click that like button. Share it with your friends if you really liked it and you want to include them in this conversation and stuff. Uh, click that subscribe button if you want to keep in touch with me. Click the little bell if you want to get notified every time I upload. I'll be trying to upload best I can. It's kind of hard sometimes with academics and everything. Um, now I'm trying to upload Wednesday, Saturday, occasionally Sundays. Let you know if I have any art class Sundays in the plane. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!